Today's video is a throwback to the iPhone 6. The iPhone 6, in my opinion, is one of the most solid iPhones. However, there's a common repair that's needed with it, and that's the backlight. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild the backlight circuit on an iPhone 6. Hope you enjoy it. Here I've got the motherboard out, and I'm just connecting a power supply and a new screen. As you can see, we have an image, but no backlight. Let's carefully desolder the shield that covers up that circuitry. If we zoom in on the diode, you can see it's clearly got a hole in it, and so does the coil. It's oozing. And here I've got a solder ball that's leaked out from under that capacitor. Let's carefully scrape some of this underfill and remove the coil. These coils never come off in one piece. I find it easiest to simply scrape at anything remaining with a soldering iron. Let's clean it up. Remove the diode. Carefully scrape away some more of that underfill so that we can remove the backlight driver I see. Sometimes one of these three caps is bad, so we may need to remove it. Let's remove the backlight driver I see. And carefully scrape away and make sure we get all the underfill that might still be present. Add some flux. Take some wick. And without pulling any pads, let's clean them up and make them all nice and flat. Let's clean up our burnt flux and prep all the pads for new components. I like to be thorough with my cleaning. I've somewhat exposed a ground plane, so even though it may not be completely present, I'm going to carefully cover up anything that's potentially exposed. Cure it with the UV light. Now we can add some flux to all of the prepped pads. Get out a new diode, make sure we line it up in the correct orientation. I add a little bit of solder to this one pad. I wicked it away. Get a new backlight driver I see and line it up with the dot in the correct corner. Start to warm up the board. Now we can tap the diode into place. and heat it up. And I find that as you do this, the coil, the diode, the, the backlight driver, they can all be done at the same time. I could have removed this cap, but I'll do it now just by flicking it off. Getting a nice reading there. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'll connect the display this device is going to receive. Turn it on, and what you know, it's working again. The last thing we need to do before putting this back together is let's put that shield back on. I'm gonna carefully line it up heat it up, and in the same way we removed it, let's reverse that and put it back. Well, that's it for this video. Leave a comment below if there's something that you wanna see in an upcoming video. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.